Hi, welcome to Live with Barb and Ray. I'm Ray. And I'm Barb. And you're probably wondering who we are and why we're doing this. Who are we? Well, my name is Ray Fernandez. I am a local realtor. I work out of North Orange County, La Habra. Uh, I have been licensed since 2011. I am married. I have three uh, wonderful kids, a six-year-old girl, a three-year-old boy, and a one-year-old boy. We're selling Girl Scout cookies right now, so if anybody needs Girl Scout cookies, I've got them. Uh, I work at a T&G Real Estate Consultants, and I have my own office up on Whittier Boulevard where I run my own team. And what do you do for the association? You left that part out. Oh yeah, I am uh, the 2018 president-elect, and uh, what that means is pretty much vice president. I'll be in your spot next year mm -hmm. as president, and uh, we're both CAR directors, very involved at the uh, local, state level, and even with the national association. And I'm Barb. I own an independent boutique brokerage out of Long Beach, California, Betts Realty Group. I own the company with my husband. I have been selling real estate since 2003 and selling it with my husband for um, 11 of those 15 years. Um, we have two wonderful children. I have a son that is almost 21 and a daughter who is 17. And I know you get it asked all the time, really, a 21-year-old? I am old enough to have a 21-year-old. Okay. Yes, I know, right. crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have been a PWR director for many years, a CAR director. I am currently your 2018 PWR president, and um, we're here today to just have some fun with you. And you're probably wondering what the heck this is all about. What's it about? Yeah, so what are our goals? What are we here to do? We decided we can keep our notes in front of us because this would be really hard to do if we didn't have our notes. Right. Uh, so our purpose of this video is to educate our members on exactly what it is PWR does for them. And I can tell you from being involved in enough years that a lot of realtors just say, we just pay dues. Uh, what, what do they do for us? So we want to teach everybody uh, what we do for mm -hmm. them. Yep. We want to educate you. There's a lot of education that needs to go on in our industry, so we're super um, looking forward to educating you and bringing some great topics to you. We want to talk about what's going on at a local, state, and national level. What a lot of realtors don't know is we do a lot in the um, political advocacy arena, and we fight for things on a local issue, like currently we're dealing with Long Beach rent control and trying to prevent rent control from coming to Long Beach. We deal with a lot of things on the state level. Um, our CEO, Phil Hawkins, will be stopping by later to talk to us about that. And on the federal level, we've had a lot of issues with tax reform and trying to fight for our members, and not just our members, but the people we serve, our clients. And protecting private property rights is very important to us, and, and obviously advocacy for home ownership. So we're going to talk about all those things, and then we're going to take a behind-the-scenes look at PWR, because how many of you have actually seen what goes on here at PWR, or the fact that we have staff that runs this amazing association? There's a lot to see upstairs, and we'll be taking you upstairs in a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our main goals, too, we, we wanted this to be funny and engaging, and we want the members to look forward to the next episode. Absolutely. So, um, I wanted to ask you, and we, we've been working on what our stories are, but what's one of the funniest things you can think of that's happened to you in real estate? So the funniest thing that's happened to me in real estate was 2003-4 slash when I first started. And that was back when um, farming was very popular. It still is popular, but it was very, it was the thing to do when you got into real estate. And I was door knocking a neighborhood in Lakewood. And I walked up to the screen door and knocked on the door. And it was one of those you know, aluminum doors where the bottom's yeah. aluminum and the top's a, a screen and yeah. it has a little push button. And as I knocked on the door, I could hear this dog come charging to the door. It sounded like a little dog with a loud bark. And it was coming fast. And I got the sense this dog was not slowing down. Backed up a little bit from the door, that dog hit the aluminum door so hard you heard the aluminum shatter, you know, yeah. shake. Hit the door, come running off the porch as I went running down the driveway, running down the street. Thank goodness there was a gardener working on someone else's lawn who had his blower out at the time <laughs> and blew the dog away, which ran back to his house. Oh, I went good. back to my office and I said, I'm never knocking on a door again. Have you? No. No. Oh, no. so it really stopped you. Yeah, it really right. stopped me. It was traumatizing. traumatizing. I almost got I eaten see. by a dog, but yet you see a woman running down the street in heels. So how big was the dog? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So you had asked me what my funny story is, yeah. and I just I drew a total blank. So I don't really have anything to talk about today, but what we wanted to ask our members was for you to submit your stories to us. We have our own email address. It's yes. uh, Barb and Ray, Barb and Ray, spelled out and, at pwr.net. 
and submit your funny stories to us. And if we use one of your funny stories in one of our next episodes, uh, you will get a $50 gift card to the low, to the PWR store. Yeah, you might be a winner, mm -hmm. but we need your stories. We need your funny real estate stories that have happened to you um, while buying, while buying or selling real estate, maybe buying your own home yeah. while selling real estate. So uh, one thing that I had a, I wanted to bring up, have you heard about the new forms this year in 2018? Yes, there's lots form. of them, yes. There's, so I bet you there's some, there's some that they just kind of snuck through. And uh, they're pretty important forms. I wanted to make sure you've heard of them. You've got the local office listing form. The what wood, do you use that for? Well, I'll explain them all in a minute. Oh, okay. The wood termite form, the property owner subsidies form, and the realtor-backed funding form. So these are also known, here's your 2018 forms, is the LOL, the WTF, the POS, and the RBF. <laughs> Have you heard about these forms? <laughs> I've been working on that. I've been wanting to tell you about it for so long, but they're Does very important. Does anybody know why we're laughing? I, I hope they do. I hope you realize this is just a joke and these aren't really real forms, but... Uh, I really like number four. I know. I knew you would. Yeah. So, RBF. If you don't know what it is, Google it. <laughs> There's an ongoing joke at the association that Barbara has that Barbara RBF. So from RBF, which I is really... why I'm trying to smile a lot. <laughs> All right. Moving on. So today's show. What are we going to do on today's show? We are going to have Phil Hawkins, the CEO of Pacific West Association of Realtors, um, come and talk to us because most of you don't even know who he is. So he's going to come talk to us about some important things going on at the association level and specifically the state level. And then uh, we're going to go upstairs in a little while and do give you the grand tour of PWR. And I think that should be kind of eye-opening and exciting. And uh, there's a lot of fun stuff that will happen upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, right now, we want to go into some of the newest topics for 2018 besides tax reform because we know we're getting tired of hearing about that. Uh, and it hopefully happened. It's you know. over. Yeah, and hopefully uh, you're well educated on the whole tax reform issue, uh, but we're going to talk about advertising. Yes. Have you heard about the new, it's not just a rule, it's a law. That's the thing I think a lot of realtors are missing, right? Mm -hmm. Is that it is state law. It was not the association that did this. It was not, um, it was your government. It was the legislature that did this, that put this into law, that realtors need to identify themselves who they work for at all times. The public can't think that you're an independent agent or an yeah. independent broker. And we've got a lot of notes here on things we wanted to talk about, but I think the gist of it is really to understand that anything you put out to the public has to have your brokerage on it. I've had a lot of realtors mm -hmm. say, well, no, that only applies to teams. And no, that's not the case. On your open house sign, your name's this big, your brokerage needs to be displayed just as prominently because Absolutely. the public looks at it and they see Ray Fernandez and my brokerage is down there in the little corner and they think I'm my own broker. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to avoid. And this really applies to teams. If you're on a team or if you're a team leader, you really need to be careful about this because that's where most of the problems were happening. So if you have a team logo, that team logo cannot be this big and your TNG real estate be this big. Yeah. TNG and the Ray Fernandez team need to be equally prominent. Now, do I think they're going to get out a measuring tape and measure the size of your logos? Quite frankly, no. I think that anyone who looks at your either open house sign, for sale sign, marketing material, business card, notepad, and we'll talk about social media in a moment, mm -hmm. can they quickly identify who you work for? If I was to look at your sign, can I quickly determine who you work for? If I can quickly determine who you work for, who your broker is, I think you're going to be fine. Yeah, and, and social media is a big one. We're all guilty of it. We take a picture of a house and listing this tomorrow, or whatever the case is, we have to. In that, in that social media post, put your BRE number, which will be DRE soon. Uh, you need to put your uh, brokerage and you need to make it very clear. And we're, we're already seeing the complaints yeah. coming into the association of agents that aren't doing this. And uh, it's gonna be cracked down on pretty soon. Yeah. Very, well, now it's being it cracked is. down on. The important thing to know is that your association um, will have to act on this if you're turned in. Um, the MLS will have to act on this if you're turned in. And most importantly, the person you never wanna get a phone call or letter from, the BRE, soon to be DRE. And let's talk about that for a minute. We are switching back to a Department of Real Estate July 1st of this year. I have asked the higher ups at many different levels. It is safe to say CalBRE, 
DRE number or just LIC number. There's a lot of confusion. As long as that number is on all of your marketing, including social media, mm -hmm. you'll be okay. Well, I think we have beat that to death. So, yeah, anything uh, else on advertising? Be careful on social media. Yeah, it's social media is where I think a lot of us are gonna get in trouble. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Pinterest. No longer Barbara Betts. MySpace. Betts, MySpace. <laughs> Please tell me you don't have a MySpace. I think I still do. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so it's important. It's important. Just listed. Make sure it says your company and your license number in the context of the post. That's super important, guys. Or maybe on the graphic of the photo. And now we're done with advertising. We're undone. We're done. So on that note, we are going to go on a tour upstairs. And Ready when to go? we come back, we will be t meeting with uh, Mr. Phil Hawkins. And that should be pretty fun, too. Let's go. Thank you. Welcome to the second floor. This Do you think they knew the second floor existed at PWR? I don't know. I, I, they see it from outside, but there is a second floor There's here. There's a second floor. And we're going to take you around right now and give you a tour and introduce you to some of the yeah. great people that work up here. The and amazing staff of PWR. And we have a call center employee here, Tammy. We're going to put Tammy on the spot. Tammy, what is the number one um, question you get up here in the call center? Um, why can I not log into my MLS? <laughs> why can you not log into the MLS? Mainly billing questions, I would say. And okay. how often is the phone answered? How often? We get roughly about, on a daily basis, each call center rep will get about 60, 70 calls on a typical day. What? And how many of them are there? We have six dedicated call centers. So they get 60 to 70 a day, and yeah. there's six of them here. Correct. Yes. Wow, that's a lot of calls. Yes. Okay, I have a question for you. What are some of, uh, which one of the funniest calls you've gotten? I was trying to help him over the phone access and explain how to use the e-key. I was trying to explain to her how to remove the app. So obviously trying to do it in a language she might understand and she wasn't understanding and she goes, oh, oh, I understand. You want me to make it wiggle. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's how she understood. That's so good. To so remove an app, make it, it, it just, wiggle. Yeah, yeah. I make it wiggle. Make it I love that. I love that. So we should that. get shirts. Hashtag make it wiggle. Make it wiggle. Yeah. yeah, make it wiggle. Yeah. yeah. Talk about this office. Yeah, this office, because this person is vacant right now. I don't know where he's at. Jay, where are you? He's behind the camera. Jay's actually. behind the camera yes. right there. So Jay is the creative director for PWR, and he does all the marketing, all the videos, um, all the designing, website. A lot of the stuff that you see on a daily basis, absolutely, is Jay. Yeah. So thank you, Jay. Oh, where is Tim this Shaw? This is Tim Shaw. Tim is our government affairs director, and he has a very important job. Very important. That's why he's not here. That's why he's, he's not here. Because he's important. And uh, one, our, one of our next episodes, we will sit we're down with Tim. We're definitely going to talk to Tim Shaw. we're going to talk to him, and everyone's definitely going to meet Tim. Uh, you have to meet Tim. Yep. You know what our favorite part about Tim? His laugh. <laughs> 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 That's totally Tim's laugh, right? It is Tim's All laugh. Right. Doesn't Robert look so excited to be on camera? This is Robert Kidd. <laughs> this is Robert Kidd. He is our chief financial officer. He pays the bills. Very important man. Try to be a good steward of the members' money. Lelaine. Lelaine. And you know what? I'm just standing here just to see if I'm taller than Ray today. Nope. Well, even in heels, I think I'm not. Nope. Lelaine wears the most giant heels in the entire uh, <laughs> association, and she is our VP of Marketing and Communications. Oh. So she handles and is in charge of all the information you get, all the communications you get, oversees our classes, oversees all our videos. You <clears throat> probably have seen her at an event running around really running. fast. That's Lilane. Say hi next time. And the emails that you get on a daily basis, the ones that you don't open, you should be <laughs> opening, those come from Lilane. So you are hurting her feelings by not opening those emails. What's our, <laughs> what's our open rate right now? Um, right now, only 25% of you are 25. opening the emails. And you wonder why you have questions. Yeah. This person is the person you never want to hear from. I think she's the smartest person in the building, but you don't ever want to hear from her. Lori, Lori. Smith. Uh-oh. That's the person you don't All right. want to hear Come. from. Let's go in. What are the top three things members do to get themselves in trouble? 
They don't return phone calls to other members <gasps> or the public. Shocker. Did you know this makes two-way calls? Like you can receive calls and you can make calls. Yep. And they maybe don't show all the offers to their clients. <gasps> number two. Mm. Number two. Number three would be... Um, advertising. Advertising issues, um, lack of proper disclosures. All right. This is the executive That's suite. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's, oh on she's on the phone. On the phone. I'm not. Oh, oh, she's not oh, on the phone. Are you talking phone. to yourself? I know. She was, ta she was talking <laughs> she to herself. Was we Did you get that on video? Yourself. This is the least known person in this building, and quite frankly, the most important. Hi, Irene. Hi, how are you? You're my favorite you? person in the Aww. world. Irene makes us all look good. Yeah. Irene, what's your what's your position here? I am the executive assistant to the CEO. The CEO. Did you know we the have a CEO? Cheese. We're going to meet him in just a He's second. Next. He's yeah. probably trying to run so, and hide yeah. right now, actually. He can't, he can't run and hide because we'd see him go by. Irene keeps... Yeah everyone looking good. She handles all of our meetings, she organizes all of our travel, she organizes our board meetings, she... She's like the PWR mom. Yeah, like the, she's the PWR yeah. mom. Like the den mom, she's the PWR <laughs> mom. <laughs> this is the guy that's the boss. Look at that Ooh, big smile look at this. on his face. <laughs> Doesn't he look like the president behind that desk? He's got the flags behind him, <laughs> he's even posed. He probably is the smartest man in the building. He is, not probably, he is. Tell let us what me, you do let, here let, at the association. Let me you now for saying that. Yeah, tell us what you do at the association. We do whatever the members need. Oh, that's More than so that. kind. More than that. More than that. We have the best staff at this association. We are the best association in the state of California, and this man makes it all happen. He makes our job as board of directors easy. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're, we're downstairs now. This is where a lot of you have been to our Anaheim location. This is our PWR. Did you know we have a store? You can buy things. I like to shop. Let's go. And I was in the Long Beach office the other day, and I heard a member say to another member in the class, go to the store. Their prices are cheaper. So we have really good prices for members, a they member benefit. You know, you know what I buy here all the time is these A-frames, and I really don't think I've found these cheaper anywhere else. No. Do we Look still at, sell forms? Did you know we have safety we defense items? Really important these days, right? This is $10 if you're a member. Lots of safety de defense items like this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to just run in? You want me to run in? I'm like, ah. Hi, everyone. We're, We're totally interrupting your class. We, Hi, George. Hello. You're on camera, by the way. We're touring PWR. Can you guys all say hi? Hi. So this is our education center. This is a live class going on. This is George Dyer. He is one of our, one of our head hello. trainer. He will come out to your offices and train on, what will you train on, George? Uh, anything, zip forms, uh, RPR, MLS touch, all kinds of stuff. Perfect, you so guys are learning like a lot today? like you're doing RPR today? RPR today. Yeah. Okay. Yes, appraised value, very important. Ooh. Cool. Very right. nice. Have a lot of you guys been to classes before? Yes. Yeah. Is it helpful? Yeah, Do you yeah, think yeah, we yeah, should yeah. tell everyone watching this video they should start coming to some of these and classes? And how much did you pay to come to this class? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zero. So when Barbara and I have meetings, this is how we do it. We sit at we sit opposite this far away ends. We sit this from each other. And hey, Ray. Slide how are you? paperwork yeah. back and forth. So what do we do in this room? This is where we have our board of directors meetings. This is where if you had a pro standards case, your case would be held in this room. Uh, there's a lot of uh, important business that gets done in, in this room. Committee meetings. Committee meetings. Charity foundation. How many of you know we have a charity foundation? Those meetings are held in here? I know we have a charity foundation. I know we have a charity foundation. Okay. So I so think what else? that's our tour of PWR. I think it is. We hope you enjoyed. Yeah. And, um, and stop by. Members, stop by. Ask for a tour. One of our staff members would be happy to show you around the building and show you all the resources that you have here as members. Okay. Hi, everyone. We are back, and we are here with our special guest of today's show. We would like to introduce you to Phil Hawkins. He is the CEO of the Pacific West Association of Realtors. Welcome, Phil. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you for being here today. You came all the way down from your suite upstairs. All the way downstairs. All the way downstairs. I took the stairs, You too. actually took the stairs because you like to walk. I do. Yeah. All right. So what exactly do you do at the association? Tell our members. 
So uh, I'm in charge of all the staff of the association and coordinating with the goals of the board of directors. Uh, each year the board of directors sets goals for the staff and uh, we make sure we fulfill those goals as well as run the day-to-day -day operations of the association. So you're in charge of everyone in the building? I am in charge of the staff of the building. I am not in charge of the board of directors when they come in. <laughs> and who's your boss? My boss is the board of directors directed by the president. Very good, thank you for clarifying that. So she's the that. boss. So I'm his boss. So tell us about our association. Give us some facts. Uh, so our association's doing doing very well. Um, last year we ended with about 13,000 realtor members. Um, our political packs are strong. I encourage all of you to continue giving because it's only getting more difficult out there uh, to fight with all the things that are being thrown at us. Um, Staff-wise, we have about 31 employees, which is that, that's been about uh, the same for the last few years now. Um, everything's going well. Good. Well, and that's a lot thanks to you, so we appreciate that. You're really involved in our political advocacy for us, so tell us what's going on at a local level. So a couple big issues that are happening right now, uh, the city of Long Beach. The city of Long Beach is looking at rent control. Uh, we were fortunate to work with the city and the, the elected officials of the city, and uh, they're against rent control. And when the um, housing advocates saw they couldn't get it through the city, now they're out collecting signatures to put rent control on the ballot in November. So we're working hard to make sure we educate the voters and our members and the, the, the shortcomings of rent control and why it's not a good idea having the city. So if you're a Long Beach Realtor member, do not sign that petition. And please spread the word. Tell your neighbors. Tell your clients. Tell anyone you know who's registered to vote in Long Beach, do not sign that petition. It's very bad for us in Long Beach. And it, this is also happening in the city of Santa Ana. City of Santa Ana last week um, talked about rent control and what it would look like in the city of Santa Ana. We're working with them um, on alternatives so we don't have rent control in that city either. So this is popping up all over as well as statewide. So uh, can you explain to us some of the big issues going on at the state level? So uh, to keep on the rent control uh, bandwagon we have right now, there is a statewide effort to collect uh, signatures to repeal a bill that passed in 1995 called Costa Hawkins. And what Costa Hawkins did was regulate for those that do have rent control what it could look like. And uh, the housing, the tenant advocates, I should say, don't like that bill at all. They tried to repeal it at the state level and was defeated. And so now they're out collecting signatures to try to get on November ballot. Okay. That's one of the big things. Now, I just told you about three very negative things. Uh, let's talk about a positive thing. There is positives. There is positive. So the California Association of Realtors uh, has taken on a huge task to try to pass an initiative which tax portability. What tax portability means is you could take your property taxes and move to any county in the, in the state and transfer your property taxes. So in Southern California, we're very fortunate that, that there's 11 counties that currently allow that, and they're mostly in Southern California. And you can take your property taxes, and, but you have to buy at lesser or equal. That's Prop 60 and Prop mm -hmm. 90. Um, but again, that's 11 counties of the 58 in the state. What this measure would do would allow you to do it in anywhere in the state, mm -hmm. and it would allow you to do it multiple times. So right now, it would still be 55 and older, but you can, and currently you can only do it once. This will allow you to do it multiple times. And then the other thing, the, the coolest thing of it is you don't have to buy it equal or lesser. You can actually purchase at a higher rate. And how that would work is let's say your, um, your tax assessment's at 100,000 and you sell your house at 500,000 and you buy at 600,000. So on the first 500,000, you would pay at the $100,000 rate, which is your old tax rate, and then you'd pay the difference on the 100,000 rate. So uh, we are currently collecting signatures. Every realtor member should have received this <laughs> in the mail. Mm -hmm. uh, that was early December. Uh, we encourage you to sign the back of it and mail it back in or drop it off the association. Uh, we need to collect about a million signatures to get this on the ballot. It's a lot of signatures. It's a lot yeah. of signatures. Uh, we're doing well. It appears um, we're on track to get the signatures we need. We still need your help. We need to get this in. Um, and then once we get it qualified for the ballot, it will be on the November ballot. And if they happen to have thrown that package away, as I know some realtors may have, can they pick them up at the Long Beach or Anaheim office? We have them at our, at our local offices and they can pick them up and bring them back to their office 
or we're collecting them when they when they when they come in. Uh, we have them send them back. And you have to sign it per county. There's a, there's a, we have stacks for Orange, L.A., San Bernardino, Riverside, and you have to make sure the one you're signing is where you register to vote. So we have those in the office as well. And what's the goal with this? How many more new house new transactions is it slated to? So the state legislative analyst office, which is a non non uh, partisan uh, entity. Uh, predict that this would create anywhere from 45 to 50,000, I think, new home sales in California. N not new homes, but new, so, new transactions. transactions. That would be huge for uh, us. We, that'd need, be huge. we need that. And, and uh, we actually think it would be actually be more than that, but mm -hmm. uh, at, at least 10% more than we're seeing now. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being here today, thank Phil. You. We greatly you appreciate you. We want to thank you all for tuning in today. Again, we want your comments. We want your feedback. We want your questions. Remember, email Barb and Ray, spelt out and Barb and Ray at pwr.net, and you could be featured in an upcoming episode. Stay classy, PWR.